In this video we're going to be taking a look at Root Subscriber. It is an event subscriber that alters roots. It extends the root subscriber base and we're going to check an example for it. So here we have an installed Drupal 8 instance and we're going to be altering its user and user login router paths. So let's jump to the code base and let's create a new module. So we're going to call it Drupal up root author and we're going to create first the info file. It would be the name of the module dot info dot yaml. And we're going to be starting to create the root subscriber class. So we're supposed to add it in the SRC folder as always under routing and the name of the class would be Drupal up root subscriber.php so there we're going to be writing PHP and we have a class that is called Drupal Root Subscriber and we're going to say that it is a class that listens to the dynamic root events and enables us to alter them. That's perfect. And we're going to be adding here at the top the namespace. It is Drupal and then Drupal up root author Drupal up root author and then routing because it's in the folder called routing. We're going to be extending root subscriber base so let's jump to api.drupal.org and let's search for root subscriber base yes let's search for it and here we see the namespace so we may just add it as a use statement use and the root subscriber base that's perfect and we're saying that we are ex extending it that's perfect so inside we're obligated to declare a function called author root so we say protected function author roots and it expects a root collection object let's go ahead and check here for root collection that is exactly what we need so let's copy the namespace and put it in use statement root collection that's perfect let's go ahead and quickly add here some comments and here blank space that's perfect so what we can do here is we can just go ahead and alter the root collection let's go ahead and search for the roots i want to alter the first root i want to alter is called 
I guess user dot page and we'll actually find user dot page and user dot login again in the same user dot routing dot yaml and there are many occurrences of it but yes it is here routing.yaml user.routing.yaml and here is the router name that we want to author and here we want to say instead of path user we're going to say hell and instead of for user login user login it is going to be hell login so let's go ahead and quickly do that we're going to create here the user the user login root and it is going to be the collection get and we're getting the user login and we're saying user login root just set path and just set it to uh, hell login and for the user root we're going to get again the collection get and the other one user page and user root we're going to set path to just slash hell that's all we want to do it's not much but we're basically altering the paths for these two routes so the last thing we want to do is we want to create a dot services dot yaml file so the name of our module dot services dot yaml and here we have just services and it is the name of the module drupal up root author and then drupal up root subscriber that's the name of the service basically and for it we have to declare the class it is drupal then drupal up root author then under routing and then the class is drupal up root subscriber exactly and in order to make it event subscriber would have to tag it as event subscriber so we say tags and we say just name event subscriber that's perfect so let's jump to our Drupal instance and let's go under extend and let's search for root subscriber that's perfect and let's hit on install we would have to have our module activated of course in order all the authorings to take place and let's back to the side and let's go to slash hell yeah that looks like it works let's log out from the page and let's go to slash hell and slash hell login now you see of course in drupal core there is no such page as hell login now we just altered the user login to have a path hell login which is basically quite a good idea because sometimes you are sick of bots that they know it is a drupal instance and they are trying to post 
different kinds of attacks on this page and if you just change something little in the path at the top you would uh, get great results for your fight against bots so thanks for watching if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe hit like if you like the video and thanks for watching